Welcome to Success Weekly with James Tharris, a weekly dose of thought-provoking ideas and helpful tips on improving your mindset. And now, here's your host, James Tharris. Hello and welcome to another episode of Success Weekly. I'm James Tharris, your host. Today we are here to talk about procrastination. Now, the definition of procrastination is basically the action of delaying or postponing something. I know that if you're listening to this, you've been guilty of it. And the reason I know that is because I've been guilty of it. I still procrastinate from time to time. But I'll tell you something. There is a, there is a time and place for, for procrastination and some, where it can actually help you. But today we're going to be talking about procrastination in terms of how it can negatively affect your success. So as I just mentioned, I procrastinate more often than I'd like to actually. But what I've learned is that the more that I procrastinate, the less success that I have. And so you just sometimes have to make a decision. And, and that sometimes is where we procrastinate is in making a decision. So uh, for example, uh, one of the best pieces of advice I've ever received uh, in probably in the past 20 years is that if somebody's asking me for a decision and it has to, they have to have a decision now, then the answer is no. That way I'm not forced into making a decision that I'm going to regret later on. So keep that in mind. That's a great piece of advice. So as far as procrastination goes, though, what I found was the more that I put things off, the more I put them in the background and think I'll get to them later, the bigger and, and scarier things grow. They, they grow teeth and fangs and, and fur and things like this that, that make the, the task that I, was, that, that I put off that much more daunting. So it's better to just get into action. And so there's another, another old colloquialism, or I guess it's not a colloquial, colloquialism, it is more of a cliche, and that's motion beats meditation. See, in, in my, uh, my philosophy on life is get the car moving and steer it later. And I've, I've lived my entire life that way. And I remember working at the Indiana State Capitol building back in the, the late 80s. And I was working as a, uh, what was my, my title? My official title was, uh, I forget actually. It was some kind of a p politically correct title that basically said, you know, I was a, an electrical assistant and I carried water to the, the offices um, and did maintenance. So I, I worked in the maintenance department. Anytime we had a job, we were called to, to do a, a job on one of the offices, replacing electrical outlets or, or moving furniture around and things, uh, whatever it was, rebuilding something, the entire team would get in there and probably two hours would be spent on just talking about it and planning. While these guys were busy talking and planning, I was already moving furniture and, and doing things, and they didn't like it because it didn't fit in with their, their method of stepping back and taking it easy and taking one step at a time. Now there's a time and place for planning and I think that that's important as well. But I think in this case, these guys did a little bit too much planning. And while, while they were planning, I had already gotten the job done in many cases or, or gotten into it and saved us an hour or two by just doing it and figuring things out as I went. So. Uh, did I run into some problems? Sure. Did I, did I regret some, some of the decisions that I hastily jumped into? Absolutely. But even, even with that being said, I still saved more time than these guys. I would get three or four times the, the work accomplished in a single day than most of these guys did because they sat and procrastinated and thought about it and, and tried to put it on paper and figure the best way out. And sometimes there just is no best way. The best way is just to get moving. Uh, so, so like Nike says, just do it. There's, there's wisdom in that, uh, in that phrase, just do it. Uh, and then as, as far as motion goes, what I've found that is emotion follows motion. So if, if you're having trouble getting motivated and you're, you're procrastinating something, just get moving, get doing something, get into action, and you'll find that the emotion or the motivation will follow that quickly. So procrastination is simply a, it's a symptom of laziness or lack of motivation. So I just gave you kind of the answer of how to, how to deal with procrastination. Just get doing something. Get into action. Don't put, what's the old saying? Don't put off today or don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Um, I forget who said that. It was maybe Ben Franklin maybe, somebody like that. So what I suggest for you to start working on your procrastination is to create a checklist. That's your basic to-do list. And then prioritize it from one to five. 
Uh, if you have five items, put them in order. Which one's most important? Not which one's easiest. Which one's most important? What I like to do when I have a task, uh, a task list or to-do list is to take the, the biggest and diff most difficult task and, and tackle that one first because then everything else pales in comparison. So uh, if you haven't done that yet or you, you've forgotten about doing it, uh, start doing that again. Create yourself a checklist and prioritize it one to five or one to ten, whatever, how many, how many ever items you have on your list. Then simply get into action and make a habit out of it. And that's really all I've got to say about uh, procrastination today because it's not that big of a, a deal. It's just a matter of doing the small things repetitively and developing a habit because habits you train are habits you gain. And, and procrastination is a habit, so don't allow it to become a habit by retraining yourself to get into action. Remember, motion beats meditation. I'll see you next week. That's all for this week. Tune in next week for another episode of Success Weekly. Do you have an idea you'd like James to talk about in an upcoming episode? Post your comments and be sure to share this podcast with friends.